I'm sure that you have someone that has cancer and you have seen that person going through chemotherapy. It's awful. Or uh, hopefully you haven't seen yet people suffering of Alzheimer's, Parkinson, AIDS. There's plenty of problems, actual problems affecting the human health. Now technology has the power to change this. We are getting resistance to a lot of antibiotics. And there is there's more people dying for infections at the hospital than for cancer, can you imagine? So we really need to do something. They are not effective anymore. Imagine that we can divide one meter in one billion parts. One of these parts is a nanometer. Nanotechnology is the science that study the material that are few nanometers. For example, viruses are 100 nanometers, DNA, two nanometers, and atoms are like 1.1 nanometers. So, for example, you can see your hair, okay? This guy is 80,000 nanometers. Nanotechnology not only allowed us to visualize small things, but actually to create things. We can create nanomaterials from bigger structures or by putting atom by atom together. So one of the things that I have in the lab is these nanoparticles of meta nanoparticles, okay? So these meta nanoparticles uh, kills the bacteria, okay? In a very, very efficient way. So imagine that you can have these nanoparticles in a surface in all the air conditions, for example. Okay. But think about it, not everything has to be internal. We don't have to always take things. How many times you fly in a plane and you get sick because one person is sick all the time? So imagine that you have these nanoparticles all around the air purification system. So every time that something goes with a bacteria or virus, get in contact with these nanoparticles, metallic nanoparticles, it will explode. So it will, it will be there, but it will be not toxic, it will not infect other people. This nanoparticle kill bacteria very effectively. So what we have here is a new generation of antibiotics, an antibiotic that is metallic. And because it's metallic, it will never confer resistance. Bacteria will never be resistant to these antibiotics. I'm thinking to actually apply it on planes, obviously, but more important, at hospitals. However, I still don't know if the human body will accept it. So we're trying to make something different, change the way of thinking what is an antibiotic. I'd love to know how nanotechnologists feel about the persistent and systemic toxicity questions that are constantly raised and what studies... The problem that we have is that the risk uh, on nanotechnology is really high right now. So we have a strong regulation of the things that we can or we cannot do. And this needs to be changed completely. And it's based by my pure ignorance. When I don't understand things about politics or something that I'm not my... I'm scared because I don't know. So that's what we have to do, is to teach, to educate our society, to believe that nanotech is not that bad, it's not that scary. It actually has an incredible good potential. And it's in our hands to determine the direction of our problems. So I need people to understand what I'm doing, because that's what I'm trying to do, to break the monster behind the nanotech war, you know.